Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about cruciferous vegetables and cancer. What role do cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and Brussels sprouts have to do with cancer, cancer prevention, and cancer treatment? Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content, so there's always something new to watch. And if you have an idea for a video, drop it in the comments below. I'd also love to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized yerba report. Your yerba report will cross-reference your medical records with the latest medical evidence and generate a report of everything that we know about your tumor, all the treatments that you've had, and then show you all the things you might hear about when you go to your medical visits with the pros and the cons of each treatment. All right, so let's talk about vegetables. We all know that we wanna have a green, colorful, healthy diet of fresh foods that are not processed, but there's something special about cruciferous vegetables. These are things that look like cabbage or uh, sound like cabbage, like little tiny Brussels sprouts and broccoli sprouts in particular. I'm gonna show you a bowl of broccoli sprouts. So this is what they look like, a lot like bean sprouts, but these are actually little sprouts that will eventually become broccoli unless you eat them in your salad, wraps, or sandwiches before then. Cruciferous vegetables have within them a compound called sulforaphane, which may not sound good, but it sure is. These are really important compounds that are naturally occurring in cruciferous vegetables in particular and highly concentrated in broccoli sprouts for some reason that appear to have anti-cancer activity when tested in cells, in cancer cells, what we call in vitro, under conditions of glass, whether it's a test tube or a glass plate on which cancer cells are growing, in particular, triple negative breast cancer. It's also been shown to lead to regression of triple negative breast cancer in animal models, in particular mice. So I'm gonna repeat that. There are studies showing that sulforaphanes will inhibit cancer growth in cells that are on a, a sheet or in a test tube, cancer cells, or in animal models. What you're not hearing is that they've been shown to be effective in people. So there are no studies showing that cruciferous vegetables will lead to regression of cancer. But so far, there, it looks as though there's some anti-cancer activity in cells and in animal models, which is always very promising. The other thing we know is that sulforaphane also works with chemotherapy and makes chemotherapy more effective, again, in animal models. So unlike a lot of things that we talk about, antioxidants and all sorts of things that people wanna take in supplement form, if anything, it appears that sulforaphane makes chemotherapy work better. So if you have particularly triple negative breast cancer and you're wondering, what can you eat? What can you do, put in your body to help yourself fight the cancer as much as possible? I would say lean towards cruciferous vegetables, broccoli and broccoli sprouts in particular. I hope this has been interesting to you. Drop a comment or a question below. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.